वेलकम अगेन डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओ बी ए पार्ट सेकेंड मेरा नाम विनीता चौधरी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज सुजानगढ़ पिछले वीडियो में हमने टीयर्स आइडियल टीयर्स के बारे में पढ़ा था अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोइट लॉर्ड टेनिसन and a brief interpretation of the poem tears ideal tears in today's video we will discuss stanza wise summary of the poem tears ideal tears so let's start the video alfred lord tennyson wrote tears ideal tears it combines beauty with sadness in a way that causes a reader to feel empathy for the speaker tennyson's speaker is able to depict the sorrow of mourning and the devastation of last youth he brings attention to what it means to age and becomes aware of the darker side of life the first stanza tears ideal tears i know not what they mean tears from the depth of some divine despair rise in the heart and gather to the eyes in looking on a happy autumn fields and thinking of the days that are no more in the first lines of the poem the speaker describes how he feels tears in his eyes he says that tears ideal tears i know not what they mean okay i don't know what is the meaning of the tears the poet calls them ideal tears because he doesn't know why they come into his eyes what is the reason behind the coming of the tears in his eyes so he called them ideal tears he doesn't know why they are there or what has caused them this leads to the description of them as being ideal tears it is an emotion that has suddenly overwhelmed him and his brain is yet to catch up to his heart the only thing that is clear at this point is that they come from the depth of some divine despair he only knows that they comes from the divinity the depth of his heart rise in the heart and gather to the heart the tears rises into his heart and they gather into his eyes the speaker feels something spiritual building up inside his soul it is close it is close to being divine or god like generally when something is described as divine it is angelic joyful and glorious this is different thought it is divine despair he goes on describe his feelings as rise in the heart and gather to the eyes in the last two lines of this stanza the speaker reveals what has triggered his divine despair while also provide the setting he is looking on happy autumn fields but they do not provoke in him a feeling of joy as one might expect 
the poet is saying that whenever i see the happy autumn field but as man is feels as man feels joy is pleasant i do not feel any happiness whenever i see the autumn field rather the fields fill his heart with despair and brings tears to his eyes he is not sure why this is the case the poet doesn't know why they come into his eyes the speaker does tell the readers however that it is something about the days that are no more that have caused his feelings of despair in the next stanza fresh as the first beam glittering on a sail that brings our friends up from the underworld said as the last which reddens over one that sings with all we love below the verge so said so fresh the days are that are no more in the second stanza the speaker reveals the pain he feels at his at this moment of recollection is as fresh as it was the moment he first experienced it then in the second line he reveals why thinking about lost days causes him such pain he claims that this this memories bring our friends up from the under world here it becomes apparent the speaker is thinking about the people who have died before him the wounds feel fresh as the memory of their lives and deaths spring upon them third stanza are said and strange as in the dark summer dawns the earliest pipe of half awakened birds to dying ears when unto dying in the eyes the casement slowly close a glimmering square in the third stanza the speaker says that he finds these days gone by as very strange throughout tears ideal tears the speaker seems unable to fully understand his feelings he doesn't know exactly where the tears come from not nor does he know what divine despair causes them so in this stanza the poet says that are said as an end strange as in the dark summer dawns the dead man the man who is lying on the bed he is seeing he is listening the chirping sound of the birds from the casement the speaker says states the feeling in his heart is strange as dark as dark in summer tones he then describes the sounds of birds as they are just awakening and contrast that sounds with his own feelings the speaker knows that he is in his last days unlike the birds it is a strange thing for dying ears to hear the birds beginning to awake as he hears the birds and thinks about the days gone by and how few days he has left he considers the casement this is a reference to the part of a window that hangs open it is dissolving before his eyes into nothing more than a glimmering square and the last but not the fourth stanza dear as remembered kisses after death and sweet as those by hopeless fancy faint 
on lips that are for others deep as love deep as first love and wild with all the great or death in life the days that are no more so in the final stanza the poet it becomes clear that the speaker is narrating from beyond the grave he tells the reader that kisses after death are sweet and dear they are compared to those experienced in life that are hopeless fancy faint the speaker is relating the emotions of death to those of love that is filled with the same mourning and hopefully joyful reception into other world lips will often want to kisses that are meant for others the same goes for the speaker who wants to continue in his life but he is unable and the final lines are less structured than those which have come before the speaker is enraptured with the loss of his days and attempting to relay the emotions of first love there is an amount of regret that has followed him to death but his days are no more there is nothing to do about anything left undone at this point so priya vidyarthiyo this was the explanation from stanza to stanza in the next video we will talk about the literary figures used in this poem